Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. Today on set, we're photographing steam. So I get this question a lot about photographing either steam or smoke or vapor, like things in the air, like how do you capture that? And really it's pretty simple if you understand lighting. Essentially in order to get the steam to, to be shown in your shot, it needs to be lit. So the best way to do it is to backlight it and then also to have a relatively dark background. So here we've got a medium gray background, but I'm using a sock box with a grid. So none of our light is really creeping into the background. And so we're essentially getting a black background. So when the light comes through the vapor from the coffee, the steam coming off of it, it's gonna light up, it's white of course, against the black background that's gonna give me the most contrast. So the trick here is to get everything set up the way that you want. We wanted this kind of moody morning feel. So I have just the backlight and just a little fill card here coming in. So we have nice shadows, but with a soft light wrapping around. And what we did was we had Marissa waiting and uh, I've got Dave over here who went to the microwave, heated up the coffee as hot as we possibly could and brought it in. We shot a few and then we just repeated the process each time because you only get a few good puffs of steam off the coffee before it starts to peter out a little bit. Obviously, if you're in a colder space, that would probably help you, but we're inside, so uh, the steam is not so much from the coffee. Another advantage of getting the background completely black and keeping it simple like that is, since I have a bunch of shots of her with varying amounts of steam coming out, but then let's say I like an expression on one but the steam on another one, it's easy enough with a black background to scoop up some of the steam from some of the previous shots and put it into this shot. So I can kind of cheat a little bit by adding some steam from my previous shots. It's pretty quick to do in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.